Hello and welcome back to Supposedly Fun. My name is Greg and I am here today to announce the winner of the voting for the LGBTQ in translation read-along selection for April and May. The options were, in no particular order, Before Night Falls by Rinaldo Arenas, translated by Dolores M. Koch, and Disoriental by Nagar Javadi, translated by Tina Cover. And just to get rid of the suspense right now, the winner was Before Night Falls by Reynaldo Arenas and translated by Dolores M. Koch. It was a really close vote. There were a lot of proponents on either side. People were very passionate about both. Here's the good news. If you were one of the people who voted for Disoriental, you can still read it. I still plan to read Disoriental. I'm going to try to be reading both in April and May so I can talk about both. So please don't feel discouraged if you were one of the people who was really into Disoriental and it did not win because there is still a discussion thread on it on the server on Discord for the LGBTQ in translation read along, which I am going to link down below in the description box. So please, if you are interested in either one of these books, please go there, join in. We have a really great group. Uh, and like I said, you will be able to talk about both of these books in April and May if you so choose. But Before Night Falls is the one that we'll be getting the focus. This is a really easygoing read-along that Jen the Librarian has created. I'll put a link to her channel in the description box down below as well. I am helping her out by co-hosting this April-May section of the read-along. But this is a really great, easygoing, very chill read-along, and that is kind of what has appealed to me about it in addition to the fact that I want to read more books in translation. And in particular, I really want to focus on LGBTQ stories and experiences outside of my own all of that really drew me in, but this is a very chill group. You can kind of go at your own pace. If you read really quickly, you can put in your thoughts and people might catch up to you later. Uh, but yeah, we still are talking about the February and March picks right now. It's a little bit late if you want to join in, but there is still a thread for them. And just so you know, the selection for February and March was The Membranes by Chi Tao Wei, translated by Ari Larissa Heinrich. And the other option was To the Friend Who Did Not Save My Life by Hervé Guibert, translated by Linda Coverdale. So a lot of us have already read and discussed the membranes at this point. Some of us are going to be reading To the Friend Who Did Not Save My Life now that we are kind of wrapping up the discussion on the membranes. But there are some people who are still catching up to the discussion about the membranes. So again, really chill reading group where you can go at your own pace. And if that's something that appeals to you, again, the Discord server is in the description box down below. Feel free to check it out. And the threads for the membranes and to the friend who did not save my life will still be there if you would like to catch up or at least see what everybody else has talked about. But once again, the selection for April and May is Before Night Falls by Reynaldo Arenas, translated by Dolores M. Koch. And it is a nonfiction book, which makes it a little bit different from the books that we've talked about so far. I'm really excited to read it. I have had it on my pile of possibilities since somewhere around the year 2000. I believe the movie version, which is you can see right here, uh, that is Javier Bardem, who plays Reynaldo Arenas in the movie. That is when this book jumped onto my radar and I have wanted to read it ever since. So I'm really excited to finally have an excuse or a kick in the pants, however you want to phrase it, to get to Before Night Falls. And I'm really excited about that. And I have been wanting to read Disoriental since it was released a few years ago. And I wanted to get to it. So I'm going to be doing both again. It's going to be a really exciting discussion, I think. Lots to talk about. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about what the books are about. I'll put a link to the video where I announced the voting in the description box down below. If you would like to know more about both books, I encourage you to go there and check it out. But really quickly, I will read the back of this book just to whet your appetite for what we are going to be discussing in April and May. The New York Times Book Review Editor's Choice 1993 called it one of the best books of the year. It is called A Document of Particular and Disturbing Honesty by one of the few truly great writers to come out of Latin America in this century. And the description is, this shocking memoir by visionary Cuban writer Reynaldo Arenas is a book above all about being free, said New York Times Review of Books sexually, politically, and artistically. In Before Night Falls, Arenas recounts his journey from poverty-stricken childhood in rural Cuba to his death in New York four decades later. In between, he tells of his odyssey from adolescent rebel fighting for the revolution, through his suppression as a writer, his disillusionment with Castro, his imprisonment and torture, and his eventual flight from Cuba. 
Before Night Falls illuminates the importance of Aranis' life as a symbol of the individual against society and the potential for art to liberate, and confirms the power of the outcast to see and record the truth. In distilled and powerful language, Before Night Falls tells Aranis' own story, a Kafkaesque life recreated in his highly acclaimed novels. So one of the things that it talks about is how homosexuality was criminalized in Cuba as he was growing up, and that is part of how he eventually had to leave Cuba and come to the U.S. I don't know a whole lot about his life. That is one of the smaller details that I got about it from what I know about the movie. And I also know that at the time he wrote it, he had been diagnosed with HIV, which he, he ultimately did die of AIDS. And that is something he talks about in the introduction. I read the beginning of the introduction in the video where I announced the two picks. So again, for more information, you can go check that out. But hopefully that gives you a taste of what we are going to be talking about in the LGBTQ in translation read along for the months of April and May. And again, this is a really chill reading group. So if you are intimidated of read alongs or anything like that, I usually am. You may notice I haven't participated in a whole lot of read alongs. I will usually try to read at least one book for say Women in Translation Month, but I don't usually go all in because it just feels a little bit overwhelming. This is a really chill group. So hopefully we will have a really great discussion about this book. And the good news as well is that both of these books should be readily available for you. I managed to order both of them used from the Powell's website. So I got them from an independent bookstore, which you know I am all about, but I love to support independent bookstores. So I'm really happy I managed to find those. Both of them were readily available in co used copies and uh, they were relatively cheap and they're in good condition. I will say I was kind of hoping that I wasn't going to get the movie tie-in and the photo on the Powell's website was not of the movie tie-in. I'm going to deal with it. It's fine. I think that the movie tie-in is really the only way that this book is available anymore. It's fine. I will deal with it. But I managed to find copies through Powell's. Odds are you can find these through your local library or find used copies readily available as well. Of course, you always have the option of buying new. And if you are, I recommend an independent bookstore. I'll put a link to the bookshop.org pages for both of these books uh, in the description box down below so you can get a lead on that if you would like. But these should not be difficult to find. If you are worried about cost, they should be easy to find at your library or in used copies as well, as well once again. So, I would love it if you could join in on the discussion of this. And again, you can still catch the tail end of the discussion of these two books if you would like. It's all on the same Discord server, which is going to be linked down below. There are threads for each book, which just once again lets you know that if you were not one of the people who voted for Before Night Falls and you really wanted to do Disoriental, there is a thread for this book. So don't be discouraged. You will still be able to talk about it. And I still plan to read both. I'm really looking forward to reading both. Tina Cover voted for her own book. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, I'm really looking forward to reading it and uh, discussing it in addition to Before Night Falls. So all the information you need to participate is in the description box down below. I would love to hear what you think about any of these books on that thread. And if you have recommendations for other books in translation that you would like, I'm gonna link uh, Jen's video where she kind of introduced the spreadsheet that we are kind of pulling from. So please feel free to throw some options out there. And if you'd like to participate, I'd love it if you would join. And last time I'm gonna say this, if you would like to participate, I would love it if you would join. So I'll leave it at that, just in a short video to let you know what the winner was. And I'd love to hear thoughts, reactions, everything in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading these books with you. And as always, I really appreciate your time. I will be back until next time. Happy reading.